everybody. I want to wheeze here Tuesday, December 13th. I think it's Taylor Swift's birthday. Uh, not that that's relevant for any way, shape, or form. That said, I've cleaned off the pool table. Did it a while back. I've got some videos you haven't seen yet where I kind of... I just cleaned everything up. Most recently that you probably saw, if you're just into the Skylander stuff, we did the Creation Crystal Showcase. I just spun them around and tried to see what they look like. Feedback so far, people liked it. That's good because uh, that's, that's what we go for. But... Uh, Wave 3 has been very difficult for me to find. I'd only found Solar Flare Aurora, and oddly enough, at Target, which, you know, I mean, she's exclusive to there here in the U.S., but historically, my Target sucks in terms of, like, getting new stuff, you know, and anything past long batteries died, but what I'm getting at, I was running some errands, had some stuff I had to do during the day today, so I thought I'm going to go ahead and knock out, you know, my weekly errands as best I can uh, on the lunch hour. That was a mistake. I'm a creature of the night. I go to avoid crowds in the nighttime, and the crowds are there in the daytime, and I hate it every time I go. Uh, luckily, you know, the uh, game section surprisingly wasn't too crowded. People kind of congregating in the toys. Uh, grocery section was dead, which is fantastic. Get my applesauce. But of all the places that I thought I would find Wave 3 Skylanders, it was not Target. Uh, you know, Solar Flare Aurora, I kind of understand, it's their exclusive ride. Which, she was not there today, uh, I will say that, so uh, that's how it goes at this store. But, judging by this sack here, you probably know, and there's another reason I did this, and I'll explain it to you here in a few seconds, but... Bad Juju, who this is really the first I've looked at it, uh, looks amazing. Uh, so we'll set that down, Chaos, very impressed. I went ahead, opted for Buckshot, and then Flare Wolf is Skylander number three. Now, why three? Was there anything else there? Why didn't you get it? That's a horrible angle. Um, here's the story on that, okay? Unbeknownst to me, that's the NFC reader on the backside. It also looks like a puck, uh, if you're playing air hockey or something. Anyway, Target, unbeknownst to me, had the buy two get one free sale mathematically in my head toys r us i'd seen their sale and it wasn't as good as their previous sale of two for 22 and so i'm sitting there and originally in my card i also had pit boss you know standard pit boss i got to thinking about it and i was like well that means i have to buy other things they had one new adventure pack with boom bloom they had one thump and Boompa islands adventure pack I've said it before, I'll say it again, money is extremely tight, I don't really have it. Uh, if this wouldn't have been buy two, get one free, I probably wouldn't have bought them. <laughs> and uh, what I wound up doing, my logic was do this, get the free character, because we you know, want and need all three of these, right? There will be a variant of Juju, there will be a variant of Flare Wolf, I can't remember if there's one of Buckshot may not be seems like everybody's getting in on the easter action this year but anyway all that aside my thoughts were okay i want legendary pit boss at some point because he's got boosted stats right toys r us it's generally bogo 40 now you might get better sales two for 22 buy one get one 50 percent off whatever they're doing it's gonna mandate i buy two of them right Everyone's going to be going to Toys R Us for the exclusive Legendary, which means they'll have a good chance of maintaining their stock of standard Pit Boss, at least in my rational theorizing in my head. That's the strategy there. Uh, when funds allow to go in, uh, ascertain those two Pit Bosses at the same time. And then the Adventure Packs? I don't know. That's a lot of money. I wanted to get Boom Bloom, but then I was like, well, if I do that, you almost need to get the other one and then get Pit Boss and hope he's free. The tag only said single packs, and I didn't really feel like wasting time and asking an employee that probably wouldn't know. Uh, so this is what I did. And so basically, 15 bucks, 15 bucks, free Flare Wolf. Worked for me, right? So $30, three Skylanders, basically three for 10, which is what I think they should kind of be priced anyway. What we're going to open first, and here's my logic for it, is Flare Wolf. And I have yet to play as a bazooka in Skylanders Imaginators. And you're like, wait, yeah, but Chompy Mage, man. No, I don't have him. I can't find that guy. Uh, he's still, I guess, as best I know, in standard form, only available uh, through the Amazon bundle at this point in time, which I'm not doing that. If you're getting the game for the first time, that's a great deal. Otherwise, or if you just have to have Chompy Mage, I suppose. But, uh, 
Jingle Bell Chompy Mage. I really wanted to pick him up. I can't find him. And so that's that's where we stand. Sort of a quick little update for you. Other Fire Skylanders currently available as we try to give you something prettier to look at. <laughs> is uh, Ember over here in the corner and Taekwon Crow. He of course also gets a Mystic. Hence why Bad Juju is behind him. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Flare Wolf right here. Dun da da dun. Very cool looking character and again our first bazooker so that's kind of my logic here hopefully uh, you agree with me i'm also excited uh we got another swashbuckler here and aurora set the bar ridiculously high top our work very cool sadly at target they do hang them by the j hooks so it's kind of out already but you know it is what it is i was just shocked they had them I mean, i'm still not quite past that especially since there was a sale you know uh, nonetheless, in your hand on the portal end of the game, it is that simple. There is Flare Wolf in all his glory. Sort of imagines, conjures images of Hot Dog, uh, you know, if you go that route. But so uh, that's probably the closest combination you've seen. If you crossed Hot Dog and Zook, you might kind of get something like this. Master Flare Wolf, Fire Element. Is that camera angle different? If it is, it's because the battery's died yet again. We can send a man to the moon, yet we can't make spray bottles at work, and we apparently can't make AA batteries that last more than five minutes. Uh, these are Energizer. If Duracell or Rayovac or somebody would like to send out something that's better, I would greatly appreciate it and promote it for you for free. Um, it's ridiculous. Uh, that's it. Here again, Flare Wolf. Where were we? Oh, yes. Fire Element Bazooka is what I just said. Sensei Skylanders unleash almighty Sky Chi powers. Unlock unique gear and weapons for your Imaginator Skylanders. There are 30 plus to collect. You can see Bad Juju, Master Flare Wolf, Grave Clobber. Pretty excited about that guy. Uh, Master Buckshot. And then, of course, we got some Creation Crystals. For those of you interested, this is, again, standard price, but it's buy two, get one free. Uh, which, if you do the math there, again, it's three for 333. The Creation Crystals, which they had almost nothing of. I think they had two, actually. Uh, they were, uh, I think, two for fifteen. So uh, that's a that's a decent price, seven fifty a pop. But uh, nonetheless, I love the color coded. Again, this packaging, the packaging has gradually gotten more and more impressive, whether you like it better or not. But you've got the red for fire. You've got the embedded fire element logos here. Uh, I've shown it to you before, you can see it again there. But it's just the time and the attention to detail. I say, and I still believe, a lot more Skylanders would sell at $9.99, you know, just right out of the box, day one. These, however, I mean, to their credit, okay, the packaging is top-notch. I mean, it's better than standard toys, uh, realistically. And some collector items, really. I mean, the way they're doing these Imaginators. But the bigger thing, in my opinion, these are, they've progressively gotten larger. You know, we had Giants, of course, but then, you know, like your standard core figures. Like the, you know, they're kind of like our standard core characters, uh, even though they are Imaginators. And so with the size and the greater detail, you can kind of justify the price increase. But right here, we want to break this back in the 245 degrees. It looks like we've got a lot of stuff in the backdrop here that we could not see. You got the flame tail, which is actually pretty cool. It looks like a piece of his bandana, or whatever we would call that. And then the cannon itself. So uh, we're starting to see more and more of the detail. Also, the rocket tip is down here embedded in the plastic as well. I think we may try to work the base free, which turned out to be a good strategy. And now, hey, that actually... For as intricately detailed and embedded in the plastic as that was, I'd say we aced it. <laughs> so, uh, I will say this, Flare Wolf is not the guy that you want on the edge of the shelf. You're going to want to kind of move him inland a little bit. Uh, because, as you might have guessed with this giant cannon, he is going to be a little side-heavy. <laughs> kind of classic slam-bam syndrome, right, in Series 2. Uh, however, he looks pretty dadgum cool, I've got to say. He should be... He it makes me imagine a very playful uh, character, kind of, and I said Zook and Hot Dog, I mean, that would kind of be like a crossing hybrid. He's got elements of trigger happy to me. Uh, so obviously Flare Wolf, we're going to assume he's a wolf, hence the dog and Hot Dog. Uh, really our best example, you know, of a bazooka would be Zook. 
and then just facially and sort of like the personality wise you can kind of see a little crash and you can kind of see a little trigger happy and if you think about it uh, spiritually you can see a lot of uh, crash in trigger happy I think that's a golden arcade if you haven't seen that live stream you can watch it on twitch or of course YouTube where I exported it fantastic level one of the best I've played since SSC fire element base bazooka logo I've got to try to make this quick because I think this SD card is going to max out uh, he has got just wolf red is actually what I would call that it's almost like a ketchup red uh, paws or feet there you can see the claws nice detail on the leg bands he sort of got this extra piece here I guess kind of the end of the plated tunic or the robe whatever you want to say it's got a good texture to it uh, kind of gives off the illusion of armor almost has a woven carbon fiber look as well golden belt since he is a standard sensei knots as you can see here with uh, Taekwon Crow he has a colored belt but not golden because he is a reformed villain and apparently golden belts are reserved for the good the originally good senseis if you will so uh talk to the hand he got again very playful mischievous face kind of crazy like a fox type of a face even though he's a wolf fire tail it's cool that it's translucent, but I wonder if a darker paint might have been a better choice. I feel like it sort of clashes. I feel like the yellow is actually kind of on point. I think it's just I like this color so well, it kind of then clashes with that just a smidge. Uh, he's got, again, the black uh, leather arm wraps, the arm guards, nice little stitching detail there. Similar over here. The golden... These batteries are blinking. Seriously? We're out of batteries after this. <laughs> we've got the golden cannon the dragon okay it begins here if you note the tip of the tail what does that look like to you does that look like fire perhaps little things like that are what I appreciate in these figures they did a marvelous job there uh, the tail of the dragon the spine of the dragon almost like the raceway <laughs> it actually does look like that uh, wraps around the bazooka you've got the dragon sort of with the teeth cinched in to the top end of the bazooka he's got his front claws here uh, to the sides almost parallel one there you can sort of see a fire tracing on the bazooka the bazooka itself does indeed have other elements of fire outside of the dragon's tail but overarchingly it's sort of got this nice textured or woven pattern to it as well uh, so that's kind of interesting the missile tip I gotta say, if this had light core abilities, and we had the missile tip glow, and this glow, and maybe a little bit on the tail, or even just the bazooka, next level Skylander right there. That would be a great custom idea for someone. Uh, that's about it, isn't it? We've got the fire, uh, sort of the fade there. It's less objectionable there. I just feel like it clashes with the black and that great vibrant red. Uh, it doesn't look bad, though. It's just, you know, I think a slightly darker color scheme might have worked better. Uh, sort of like what you see here, the uh, little scar for the bandana. Uh, it's sort of like a brown, burgundy, maroon shade, and I feel like that kind of works a little better uh, with his overall theme. That said, again, kind of in a bit of a time crunch. Flare Wolf slogan, I don't know if we covered that between the batteries dying so many times. Ready to rocket. And, as is our new custom, Ready to did you hear it? Ready to there we go. So he has a playful voice, too. According to the website, power 180, armor 140, speed and agility 350 out of 350. Shocking. You would think the bazooka would slow him down. Maybe he doesn't have to carry it. I don't know. When I see speed maxed out, I am intrigued. Uh, luck 230 out of 350. And the bio, when Flare Wolf was young, he worked all summer to earn the coveted fireworks badge. Think Cub Scouts, I suppose. And from the Wolf Scouts, I should have kept reading. <laughs> in doing so, he had earned the right to light the fireworks in the annual St. Wigglewurts Day celebration, in honor of which Flare Wolf was extremely proud. But on the day of the celebration, a band of evil ice ogres attacked his village and took the entire community hostage. Silly ice ogres, fire is stronger in this region. The only weapon in his disposal were the town supply of fireworks. 
It makes sense, right? They were saving for the evening festivities. One by one, Flare Wolf lit them in the center of the ogre camp, launching a dazzling display of pyrotechnics that sent the ogres running. Not only had Flare Wolf saved his village, he had also given his residents the most spectacular fireworks show they had seen in over a hundred years. Even Master Eon was impressed, and offered Flare Wolf a position at the academy as the official fireworks launcher. But after seeing him in action, he quickly realized that Flare Wolf had much more to offer as a sensei. So, very cool story there. Again, trying to wrap this up because I think we're running out of battery and SD card. Flare Wolf, Target, $14.99. Buy two, get one free. Works great if you need three. Otherwise, you're probably best off getting them somewhere else. Uh, Toys R Us's current sale, perhaps... Uh, online you can track something down again i've had a very hard time finding these and so uh worked out quite well today uh the figure was very hard for me to spin it around for you during the bio just because of like the bulk of it he looks good though uh, again he's joining uh fire counterparts taekwon crow <laughs> who dares pick up taekwon crow one of wisdom and ember who we so 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 badly need to upgrade i have to say he's actually the most vibrant gotta go bye thanks for watching hashtag flare wolf for the bonus brick we beat the sd card with two seconds left <laughs>